Hey guys, today I'm showing you guys the 9Bot, Segway 9Bot E200P. This is their top of the line E moped. Uh, their beginner line starts at E70C and then E80 and then it goes up to E200. So this is the top tier one. Uh, their E moped has won the IF 2020 design award. It is quite a good looking uh, E moped. Now, here are some specs about this e-moped. It's packed with uh, 4,000 watt hours of battery, two 2,000, hour, uh, two 2000 watt hour batteries. Whoops. It's uh, lithium, lithium ion batteries. And it's got a 3,000 watt motor pushing out uh, 305 Newton meters on a 3,000 watt motor. Now it's rated on the website for 5,000, but uh, internally it's actually only a 3,000 watt motor. But this thing will take you up to 100 and 105 kilometers, 110 kilometers an hour, no problem. Plenty of torque, um, lots of cool features with the scooter, and it'll do a range of up to 200 kilometers. The C moped is. Uh, IPX5, which means it's uh, splash proof, so the vehicle is splash proof, and the battery is IPX7. What that means is you can actually submerge the battery for 30 minutes uh, up to one meter. That's pretty good uh, water rating. Now it'll do zero to 40 kilometers an hour in three seconds. Ninebot is on its fifth iteration of their BMS. So it's really safe. I believe their current one just released is BMS 6.0. Now the uh, scooter comes with three years of battery warranty, something that you don't usually see with something like this. Now let's have a closer look at this, uh, this scooter here. So bright front LEDs, you have six LEDs and you also have daylight running lights. Hydraulic disc brakes on the front. And uh, obviously you see the suspension on the front, suspension on the rear as well. This is a 12 inch Segway motor. Now Segway didn't actually make this. It's made by a company called Chen Shun, I believe uh, a Chinese company. But it's branded Segway. Uh, you got the Maxxis, Maxxis tire, that's, that's stock. Uh, ABS with E-ABS, so electronic ABS plus ABS plus disc, disc brake. I have it here in the space gray. This is the foot peg. So to unlock it, there's actually three ways. The first way is actually using this traditional method. Just your normal key, turn in, you know, turn it to the right. And then you also have this wireless key fob. Lock, unlock. Now the third, the third method is actually using your phone. When you get close to the vehicle, it'll know, um, it'll be within its Bluetooth range and it'll actually unlock the vehicle once you push that little uh, green button right here. You have automatic lights here. You have three gears. So I'm gonna actually power on the vehicle right now. There we go. I'm gonna take this cover that I bought. <coughs> Prevent scratches. Uh, but yeah, three gears, third gear. Now the ABS light is on because we're not actually using the vehicle right now on a lower gear, ABS does not kick in. You have your hazard lights right here. This is the go button. Now double tap that and your rear trunk pops open. Now in here, you'll find the charger. This charger is actually pretty fast. So it's a 860 watt charger, uh, pushing out 10 amps. So this will charge the uh, e-moped in four and a half hours. On the lower tier models, you'll see a uh, fuse right here. On the higher tier models, you have the battery latch. Take this cover off. 
pop open this. There you go. This is the battery. 2000 watt hours, uh, 74 volt battery. So yeah, 74 volt uh, scooter, uh, fully charged 84, two packs. One sits underneath the, uh, the seat right here, pretty much. So starting right here, turn right here, probably ends about here. So this keeps the, the majority of the weight of the vehicle pretty low to the ground. We all know that batteries weigh quite a bit. This, this scooter is extremely agile. Now that's the uh, modded phone holder right there. You have your high beam, and this is to keep your high beam on. Left and right turn signals. Now the left and right turn signals will actually automatically disable once you make the turn. Horn and your cruise control. Now, another mod that I've made is this hook. The standard hook doesn't come with something like this. It's just a normal uh, L hook. I want it closed off at the top, so I've uh, added this instead. You have uh, your USB. My cover came off, but there's your USB uh, charge for your phone. And then you have a nice little pocket here. And this is the original uh, the original uh, hook that comes with this scooter. Additionally, um, I have also added this rear trunk. Now, this rear trunk is 36 liters. It allows me to put in, you know, my helmet and all that stuff. It also gives the second passenger a backrest. Really quite handy. Not sure if this scooter will ever be released in the uh, in the U.S. market, but this scooter cost about uh, 2,300 USD. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I had the E80C. The E80C was 900 USD. Now these are prices that are brand new, right? And I bought the E80C. It came with lead acid. Was gonna mod it. Decided that thing was too slow, just went straight for the top tier, sold the E80C, and went with the E200 P1. So you can actually, you can remove these batteries, by the way, to charge them. So you can unplug that and then just charge it through there. So you can actually bring this into your, into your home to charge it. You can also just charge it here. Now, I wish Segway made it easier for people who own the scooter to mod it. Um, there's some type of battery agreement, so you can't actually just buy lithium ion battery packs and just put it in. So you're stuck with basically uh, 4,000 watt hours right now. Um, there will be probably jailbreaks coming out for you to mod it. Okay, so let's talk about some of the neat features that comes with this uh, scooter. So there's actually an anti-theft um, anti feature. So for example, I've just locked it. If I go ahead and touch it or move it, for example, it, there's an alarm, it beeps. It'll actually notify my phone as well. So it'll say your phone is being, uh, your vehicle is being moved. At the same time, there's also a GPS for the battery, so you can see when they were last used, when they were last activated. Um, you can track this vehicle to see where it was uh, moved to. Perhaps a thief stole it, and you want to track, track it down. So that's all included with it. Um, you actually get one year of anti-theft insurance um, when you purchase this vehicle. However, insurance for an e-moped is pretty cheap in China. It's about, I think, 100 RMB a year, depending on what plan you get. But yeah, they're relatively cheap. Um, additional neat little features that I really like about this scooter is, for example, it knows when you're actually on the seat. So that prevents whiskey throttle. So I'm pushing my hand down on the seat right now. 
What that means is if no one's sitting on it and you're just pushing this vehicle, it's actually um, on the push assist mode. So you can actually disable this mode. So for example, you're going up a really steep hill, you don't want to ride it up or it can't make that steep enough climb. You can actually get off and just pull down throttle and it'll do um, four kilometers an hour, help you up the hill. Now, if I disable that or if I sit on it, you can see the top spin, the free spin speed, 117. There's also uh, regen options in the phone, um, that power assist that I spoke about. You can change uh, the three speed settings, so gear one, gear two, gear three, how fast you want to go, how strong you want the regen. Another cool feature is actually this kickstand. So if the kickstand is down, it knows it's in park. See how that went to zero? So if the kickstand isn't up, you won't actually go. Another safety, great safety feature.